How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, how old are you? 37. 37. You were born in 1980. Good question. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All I know uh, is my birthday is next month on the 26th. <laughs> okay. All right. I hear you buy cakes here, so I'll be around to celebrate. I'll come around. I, I hope they're gonna buy me a cake, but I'll <laughs> probably be at home. I won't be here. Okay. Birthday, yeah, no. Is it? Yeah. And um, what's your story? What brings you here? What brings me here to Marikana? Mm. Right. How long have you been here? Three and a half years. Yes. Yes. And how did you grow up? Where did you grow up? I grew up here in Century. Um, yeah, I grew up in Century in, in Little And yeah, with my family, my mom, my, my dad, and my siblings. Yeah, I've been here all my life basically. Mm. Everything happened here, school here, school here, primary school, high school, college, work also. Most of my work also was in Centurion. Um, and yeah. When you completed your grade 12, where did you study? And what did you study? I studied um, electrical engineering at um, Centurion College. Now it's called I think Twenty South. Yeah, but yeah, <laughs> uh, that's where I, I, I studied engineering, um, electrical engineering. Yeah. And the time I just I didn't know nothing about drugs. I was smoking ganja though. Um, I smoked ganja for quite some time. And um, thereafter, I stopped ganja and stayed kind of like sober for a couple of years. <laughs> and then the drugs came in. Um, yeah. Like, like a friend. <laughs> yeah. And still doing the drug till today. What do you do? What do you use? I use heroin. I spike heroin and crystal as well. Occasion. Addictive, and if I don't smoke it, I don't, I don't get, um, I don't get bad with drugs, like especially with the body, the cramps, um, it's addictive, it's, 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 it's bad, it's a bad experience. I, think. <laughs> I wouldn't wish it on anyone. You know, every time I see a, a new person getting into this drug, I feel very bad. Uh, there's a lady who she stays close to where my parents' house is. Um, she was not smoking any drugs, but her boyfriend smokes drugs though. She always used to like tell me and another um, girl, Vanessa, like, guys, you need to stop smoking this drug and you know, advise us and like all the time. But funny thing is. She is now into the same drug that she was telling us to stop doing. And we were, we, we were trying, we've been trying for months and some people for years to get out of it. As difficult as it is, you know. 
like we try to like really quit and stop and all that stuff yet she goes and she starts smoking the same drug that we tried to get out of so it really actually upset me a lot i didn't speak to her for a while actually because i thought she would understand you know what we're going through and the hustle how it is it's difficult she sees how her boyfriend's uh, struggles to get a fix so now she's just made it even worse for him now he has to help two people now so yeah it's bad because if you don't have the stuff you go through help you really go through help yeah and you have a boyfriend now i don't have a boyfriend uh reason being the drug yeah it's like it's a, it's like you're in a relationship actually it's so hence i actually um decided to not uh date well actually no to not get in a relationship because but are you dating i do i do date um every now and then in the beginning when i started doing the drug yeah i was still dating like a lot but now i'm so in into the drug that even dating is so difficult because obviously you date somebody who's not doing what you're doing and it's you know the timing <laughs> is a bit difficult to like be on time with them My life is kind of like bumpy, bumpy. So yeah, even like you know, it's have you ever dated maybe somebody that was also using? Uh, dating. Actually, what is dating exactly? Dating is when you. It's like when you okay. Let me ex try and explain. Uh -huh. It's like when you when you go to a tree, right, and you pick five <laughs> apples, right, <laughs> and you put them inside a basket, yeah. and then you decide which one of these <laughs> <laughs> apples am I going to, to finish eat. eating. <laughs> God, wow. But then, you while you're lot. dating, while you're dating, yeah. you're going to have a bite of each, of apple. each apple. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Um, then yeah, I have actually yeah. Um, I have. I've been with certain guys who like, especially white guys, because I've dated a lot of white people. Mm. <laughs> white guys. Yeah. So you know, white people not to be like racist or discriminating. I don't know what words to use exactly, but like, they're always like on drugs. Um, so. Yeah, some guys were on crystals, some on cat, coke, so yeah, I would just like, would just like chill. Um, they'd, they'd be like having fun and because they like that kind of like entertainment, you know, like they like being with a chick who's also on drugs so that they can have a good time. Yes. Okay. And, yeah. What's the difference between dating a black guy and a white guy I think people are curious about that <laughs> the difference <laughs> um, well one thing for sure I will tell you this I don't know if I'm even allowed to mention this no, on camera no no mention it, mention it. Oh, should I mention it yeah okay uh, there's this thing stereotyping that goes on about like how uh, black men are like large in size you know and white men are like just small or average that is a lie <laughs> let me just say that oh is it yeah it's a lie it's, it's, okay. it's, it's not it's not true at all it's not um there's 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 white guys that are like pleased mm. size Mm. Yeah, and they can work it as well. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, they can work it like this other dude. Like I, I couldn't even, I couldn't even go on anymore. I was like, nigga, stop! Like, no, nigga, stop! But he was that good. 
for a white guy. <laughs> He was very good for a white guy, but yeah, so um, the difference is there's not actually much difference because we, we're all humans. It's just, I think, the skin color, but there is still those small differences. Like, white guys are different to black guys. White guys are, like, appropriate. What do you yeah, mean? They, they are, like, gentlemen, kind of like. And it's like just natural like that or well, i don't know maybe that's how they were brought up uh, some black guys are also like that they have those um what you call them how can i put it they have those habits or tendencies and yeah um but our our black guys average like they don't they don't so that's why i like white white men <laughs> they really when they love they really love you they, they care like they care and they go the extra mile like but for them it's like they're doing nothing much but like you see it as like really doing like extra mile yeah so it's nice tell me about your holiday when you guys went on holiday <laughs> that holiday the ice cream holiday <laughs> with, with the family yeah oh okay um, the holidays was nice and I'll never forget them because it's like the whole family, uh, like there's so many of us because we're like 10 children already and then it's my mom and my dad and maybe like an uncle, like two extra uncle and three extra aunties so it's like, yeah, a big family and then we'll go to the beach and yeah that was nice like we didn't know how to swim even then i was very very young i think i was like five or six at the time um, i didn't i didn't know how to swim then but it was just nice to just play with the rest of the family and like your older brother getting like picking you up in the water and like just playing around with you and like joking around and it was really really nice like you know the whole family being together then like you know it was really really nice um, and i miss my family actually <laughs> I miss my when did you last see them Whew. some is like 20 years like especially my older brother which i miss a lot you haven't seen him in 20 years when last did you talk to him? Um, see, I'm getting old too now. Even. Okay. <laughs> I last spoke to him, I think, um, three years back. Um, he was like engaged to this other lady in front. <clears throat> so we don't know what happened. Like, he just like fell out of the relationship. We don't know his reasons was what, but he didn't he didn't tell us like that um I'm not gonna go through with the engagement anymore guys because of one two three. He just like skipped it. He just never on like answered the calls and like, just cut it like that. So it became like a family feud. <laughs> Her family were like on some, hey, Mr. Levini, like, what's up with your son? Because he's putting our daughter in, you know, some type of situation. Because he's not acting right. Then they told us about what he's been up to, this and that. He's not doing this. And doesn't. So we also were like, why is he acting like that? You know, for an older brother, we don't know him to be like that. We, we, we're supposed to learn from him so if he's acting like this and to a lady should it happen to us his sisters how's he gonna feel you know so we all like lashed out at him and now he's like in Canada um, he's the only one in Canada he's got no no other family so we all lashed out at him you know own different ways some used Facebook some on the phone, some on text, some on calls. Um, I also did lash out at him, but not so harshly. I was just like telling him the way it is, like, rather like, you know, what's up? Answer, 
do what's right should you not want da 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 da, da. so he took it like really like he, he was offended like by everybody's like comments and da 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 and he chose to like cut all of us out well certain of us especially me i was one of the people that he cut out like he didn't want to speak to anymore because of the way he like spoke to him and bashed out at him um, but we had reasons to, because we didn't he didn't tell us anything how he's feeling what's going on and stuff so we just thought okay it's the way it looks and it took about like i think two years two years went by that he did not answer anyone. He blocked us from Facebook. He never answered. And stuff. So it was like really hard. Like he was bad. Because he's already like so far away from family. And you know that, you know, when you're far away, you need your family support and always hear their voice and stuff like that. And so it was kind of like different that time. And so it was like, I love my brother. Like I really love my brother a lot. And it was like, what a nice time. I'm sorry about that. Yeah. And um, <laughs> I remember he always used to, um, back at the old house, we had a huge, huge house. And in the morning for breakfast, um, we'll sit outside on the lapa, if you want to call it that, or the veranda. Then when you look out, to the backyard it's like a huge field of like forest that just goes and goes and goes and goes so what he will do is like he wants to not eat my food <laughs> and he will be like oh there's an elephant and i'll be like wait 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 where is this elephant and then chow's my food chow's my food <laughs> while i'm looking at this elephant and then when i look back <laughs> My food is all finished. I start crying. I'm like, Mama, Mama, give me more food. Brother ate my food. Then it will just carry on. And until I will end up not eating. Then, yeah. So that's what I remember about him when I was younger. And yeah, so he's, he's very special to me, my big brother. He taught me basketball. He was my basketball um, coach. As well, when I was in high school. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and when did you guys come to South Africa? Um, we came to South Africa in '92. That's when we came to like stay stay. Yeah. Well, it was the first time for all of us, anyway, except for my dad. He was the only one who's been all over mm. so many times before. Um, yeah. But '92, December '92. Uh, 31st of December is actually the day we landed in South Africa mm. and have been here since then. Yeah. And where did you go to school when you guys landed? We went to school. When we landed, uh, we stayed in Protea Hotel in Joburg um, at Berea. Mm -hmm. There's a Protea thing there. Yo, back then. <laughs> Joburg was different. Like, well, it's the first time we're seeing this place, so we, you know, it, it's beautiful. Like, um, there were white people still walking in the streets of Berea. This is in Joburg, like. Um, so we stayed at a hotel for like uh, two two months. Mm -hmm. If I'm not wrong, my dad told to like finish up with the house, um, buying of the house and stuff. Then thereafter, when that was final, um, finalized, we moved straight from the hotel to the house, yeah, in Littleton. Mm -hmm. And that's where we've been living ever since then. Yeah. So I think um, March of the next year, the following year, is when we moved to the house. And how was your um, experience at, at school? It was horrible. How so? Uh, the way we were treated, mistreated, and, um, and hated for being who we were. 
I didn't think such thing existed <laughs> that you can be not liked for being who you are. It was really hard. It was hard. I being the strongest one <laughs> of the young of the young uh, kids that were in primary school because my older sisters uh, were, were in high school and from one in front of me to me to the younger ones who we were like in primary school and the others were not in primary school and still in Christian. So I was like fighting always fighting some guy or some boy like I always tell people every time like I've never been in a physical fight ever in my life with another woman or lady um, but ask me how many guys or men have I had a fight with uh, many because I always have had I always have to like protect myself or my sister or my brother and from bullies who are just like against you for nothing. Yes, yeah, so it was hard. Primary school was so hard. I, I I didn't like the I enjoyed it, but I didn't like the way they were treating us. Um, and they didn't want to befriend us. No one wanted to be friends to us. We were like so confused. <laughs> we were so confused, like, and also with the language, like the way my dad was like hard on us on the language, like we come from a French speaking language and now it's like a whole switch. And even back home, every time we move to a different province and when they're speaking a different language to what you know, you must switch to that language. So it was like switch this language now no more that language and they were so strict that you are not allowed to speak the language you used to know or to speak so even here I'm there are so many languages in DRC yeah but likely we only it was only two switches that we did in DRC from uh, French to Swahili because mm -hmm. uh, uh, the province that we went to stay at they speak Swahili so we had to like now switch and start learning to speak Swahili because the school they were teaching in Swahili so we had to know the language yeah and then you speak. then switch to English then switch to English like two years there then like move here yeah, to English then it was like no more French only English it was so hard. can you still speak French yes I do okay the powerful thing okay mm -hmm. Because uh, at home, especially at home, well, my dad is the only one who we speak French with. The, the rest of us is all English. My mom, mom with the kids, kids with the kids, grandkids, cousins, it's all English except for my dad. He's, he's the only one we speak uh, French with still to today. Yeah. yeah it was, uh, Tell me about that um, ex of yours. <laughs> the one that <laughs> the one that I started the drugs with. Mm. Oh, he's married, by the way. <laughs> yeah, the church married. guy. Yeah, the church guy's married. Um, How did you find out that he's married? My daughter told me. Let it be. <laughs> really. <laughs> She'd be like, oh, mommy, <laughs> check it this out. <laughs> Showing me pictures of the On dudes. Facebook. Yeah, so she copied the pictures. And <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, okay, whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> okay, let's not talk about him. Yeah, don't. <laughs> no, let's whatever. not talk about yeah. him. <laughs> yeah. Anything so, else you want to talk about? Um, anything else I want to talk about is, um, you know, I really just want to say that, like, People just misjudge us and mis, mis, misunderstand us like drug users. Um, we're not all the same. We're not all about the same thing. Like, um, I really like want to like stop smoking this drug that I'm smoking. Like, 
for me, I feel like I've, I've had it, I've done it, it's done. Like, what more, is there anything more still to this drug that I have not experienced? I don't know, maybe there is, but if there is, I don't even want to experience it. What I've already experienced is enough for me. I just want to get out of this now, but um, this is, it's like, I don't know how you're supposed to do it. Or it's, it's, it's just, it's, it's hard. Have you been to rehab? I've never been to rehab. Um, but I, there's, there's a social worker who's been coming to the house and they've, um, they've, they've offered to take me to rehab for six, six weeks. Yeah, six weeks. So, yeah. Um, I don't want to be just the average person that goes to rehab and comes out to go back on drugs again. Hence, I've never been really interested in rehab. Like, I feel like I'm my own rehab. Um, I know you go through like psychiatrists and whoever's and these ones and those ones. I feel like I'm all that. I'm all that in one. Um, mom, yeah. So, but I would love to experience it and see what it's all about. And if rehab can really, really help me, that part that I can't get done in order to stop, if they can get that done, if rehab can get that done, I'll, I'll, oh, that that would be like. Yeah, that would be like so great. <laughs> yeah. What else do you want to talk about? <laughs> oh man, other stuff that I want to talk about are like so emotional. Yeah, like, I, like, okay, cry not today. Easily, like, uh, not today. I don't want to be all it's fine. serious stuff here. Yeah. But like, well, God for lunch, and you can tell me all about it. Okay, yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I actually, because I do want to share that with someone. Yeah. We'll go, we'll do lunch. Uh, um, maybe we'll do lunch. Okay. Yeah. It's small coming with. <laughs> or is it just a girl's? Is it just yeah. a girl's No, thing? he promised to cook for me. Oh. This oh. one. He promised to cook pasta for me. Oh, he, he said he made the best pasta. Oh, yeah. <laughs>